Hey, good morning, brothers and sisters. I hope everyone is doing well. And, um, you know, a little rainy day, but still a pretty day. Um, I'm going to read a little bit on, still kicking in on the uh, Israelite thing. You know, there's people out there, I'm an Israelite, and they're boasting and beating their chest and all that, but they don't understand how God is working, I guess you can say. They're just boasting, kind of like the Pharisees and the ones that killed Jesus. But uh, let's get into this. What if God, although choosing to show his wrath and make his power known, bore with great patience the objects of his wrath, prepared for destruction? What if he did this to make the riches of his glory known to the objects of his mercy, whom he prepared in advance for glory? Even us whom he called not only from the Jews, but also from the Gentiles. As he says in Hosea, I will call them my people who are not my people, and I will call her my loved one who is not my loved one. And in the very place where it was said to them, you are not my people, there they will be called children of the living God. Isaiah cries out concerning Israel. Though the number of Israelites be like the sand by the sea, only the remnant will be saved. For the Lord will carry out his sentence on earth with speed and finality. It is just as Isaiah said previously, unless the Lord Almighty had left us descendants, we would have become like Sodom. We would have been like Gomorrah. When then shall we say? What then shall we say? That the Gentiles who did not pursue righteousness have attained it, a righteousness that is by faith. But the people of Israel who pursued the law as the way of righteousness have not obtained their goal. Why not? Because they pursued it not by faith, but as if it were by works. They stumbled over the stumbling stone as it is written. See, I lay in Zion a stone that causes people to stumble, and a rock that makes them fall, and the one who believes in him will never be put to shame. Now you see, it's all by works. The works is, you know, they, they're trying to go all by the Ten Commandments. Which is, before the Ten Commandments was around, man did not know sin. So, basically, that's a description of the sin that every man is going to commit. One way or another, or another way or that. It doesn't matter. So, therefore, Jesus. That's our blessing, our savior our mediator you know everything he saved us and of course you know they the israelites israelites had faith by the law so they did things by works unlike the gentiles pursued righteousness through faith i mean that, that's a weird way of looking at it so these Gentiles are just bad people, but God chose them to be God's people as well with the Israelites. And there's more and more and more just research in here, you know, in the scripture. You'll see back and forth, go Old Testament, New Testament, doesn't matter. Whatever you want to do, and it's going to explain it. And just like what I explained yesterday, um, read out from the scripture, you know, in the Romans chapter 10 area. Which today I'm a little bit in uh, Romans as well. And of course there's other places. But we're just getting in, in there. But you know the Israelites are spread all over like the sands at the sea. But only a few of them will be uh, saved. So you're boasting and beating your chest. thinking you're going to get saved just because you're Israelite. Won't work. Try again. So, I love every one of y'all. Keep your faith. Don't let anyone water you down or break you down or make you feel ashamed of yourself. 
We are God's children, and we all love each other. The ones in the dark don't, they don't love us, and they're not God's children. Their father is Satan. So, I love you all. Um, God bless, and um, I hope everyone is uh, doing well. And um, don't forget to like, subscribe, share. Let's get some more people in, and um, don't forget to look in descriptions where I'm reading from. And um, also, don't forget, go spread seeds. Women, go talk to women. Men, go out there and spread some seeds. You know, and let's get everything back in order. Let's all, all of us have to try. It can't be just one person. Everyone has to. I love you all, and I'll talk to you all soon.